Good morning to one and all. The significance of Christmas is known to men all over the world. Though it is true that Christmas is celebrated as the day of the birth of Christ into this world. Yet it also symbolizes a very deeply significant truth of the spiritual life of Jesus. Christ is the very personification of divinity. He was born at a time when ignorance, superstition, greed, hatred and hypocrisy prevailed upon the land. Purity was forgotten and morality was neglected. In the midst of these conditions, Christ was born and he worked a transformation in the lives of people. He gave a new and a spiritual turn to the lives of man. People started upon a new way of life. Thus, a new era dawned to the world. In that period, the seeker had no thought of God or higher spiritual life. He lived a life of lust, anger, greed, pride, hatred and jealousy. If the seeker must enter into a new life of spiritual aspiration, purity and devotion, then Christ's spirit must take its birth within his heart. That is the real Christmas when the divine element begins to express itself in the heart of every man. A very small but very beautiful point of deep significance is attached to Christmas. It is the time and the manner of the birth of the Lord upon the holy Christmas day. Jesus Christ was not born in a grand palace or a very affluent or learned parents. Jesus was born in a simply lowly place, in a corner of a stable, wrapped in swaddling clothes. He was born to humble parents who had nothing to boast about except their spotless character and holiness. From November onwards, it is impossible to forget that Christmas is on its way. Colored lights decorate many shops along with the bright shining decorations and artificial snows painted on the shops of the window. Real or plastic evergreen Christmas trees are decorated with stars, tiny toys, angels, candy canes, bells, cones and colorful tenses with a big star at the peak that is the topmost branch of the Christmas tree. The Christian homes are wafted with delicious sweet aromas of cookies, cakes, puddings and various other sweets which further lifts up the festive spirit. A star lantern is hung in every home, a symbol of the star that guided the three wise men who visited baby Jesus. Christmas carols are heard everywhere and every Christian home has a crib depicting the nativity that is the birth of Jesus Christ. On the eve of Christmas, all churches are brightly lit and Christian families attend the church services. After the conclusion of which, they exchange greetings amongst themselves. They return to their homes and open their gifts placed below the brightly decked up Christmas tree. The little children hang up their biggest stockings to receive their gifts which Father Christmas or Santa Claus puts in secretly at midnight. Christmas is a season of goodwill and merriment. The true Christmas joy lies in sharing and gifting, not just the family members and friends but more so to the poor and underprivileged. This is the very essence of Christmas spirit. Children, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year 2022. Now, we will see the video depicting the story of the birth of Jesus Christ.
Hi kids, this is the story of Christmas. There was a woman in a small town named Mary. She was engaged to a good man named Joseph. They were planning a wedding and a future together. So many things to think about. But one day, God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary. He said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused and a little scared. She had no idea what the angel was about to say. We don't see angels that often, right? Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will have a baby boy and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of God. Mary was afraid because she was not married yet. But she said, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Mary was so scared to tell Joseph about what happened. When Joseph knew about this, he was scared too. He wasn't sure about the wedding anymore. But he loved Mary so much and didn't want to hurt her. One night, an angel appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife because she will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will be the Savior of all. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary as his wife. Their plan was back on track, and they were now ready to welcome a special baby into the family. Many exciting things were coming. Mary and Joseph lived in a town called Nazareth, but Joseph was from Bethlehem, known as the City of David. Joseph was a descendant of King David. Yes, that David, the one who killed Goliath the giant. One day, Augustus, the Roman Emperor, decreed that a census should be taken. Everyone had to return to their own hometown to register for the census. So Mary and Joseph packed their bags and traveled to Bethlehem. Mary was pregnant, and the time for the baby to be born was quickly approaching. So they started looking around for a place to stay. Because of the census, the whole town was packed, and there was no room available. Finally, after looking all day, they found a place where Mary could have the baby. This place was not a nice hotel or even a guest room. The place they found was a manger, so there were probably some animals around there too. Mary and Joseph really needed a place, so they decided to stay there. On a special night, Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the reign of King Herod. He came to the world as a baby. Joseph and Mary were so happy to have him in their new family. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel told them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Go visit him. You will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by many other angels praising God and saying, Glory in highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. The shepherds were so excited to visit Jesus. So they started packing their bags and began their journey to find this special baby. Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that has happened. Jesus, our Savior, is born. The shepherds hurried to the village of Bethlehem to find Jesus. And they found him there, lying in the manger, just as the angel had told them. They were overjoyed to see the Messiah. After seeing him, they went back to their flocks, praising God for all they had heard and seen. 
they also shared with many others about what happened. The Messiah was now here on earth. At that time, wise men from the East found about this special event. They were very smart and knew a lot about the stars. One day, they found a special star in the sky. This star showed the way to the newborn king. They wanted to meet this special baby. So, like the pastors, they packed their bags and traveled to Jerusalem. When they got there, they asked, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this. He didn't like the idea about a new king. So Herod called together the priests and teachers of the scripture and asked them, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, they answered, just like the prophet said, O Bethlehem, a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people. King Herod called the wise men and told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. I don't think King Herod really wanted to worship Jesus. He was jealous and didn't want a new king taking his place. Now the wise men were so close to finding baby Jesus, so they continued their journey to Bethlehem. We don't know exactly how many people were on this journey, but we know they had three special gifts for the newborn king. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They traveled a long distance and they were so excited to finally see Jesus. The star guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. By that time, Jesus wasn't a newborn baby anymore. He lived in a house now. The wise men entered the house and found Jesus there. They quickly bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These were strange gifts for a young boy. But Jesus was more than just a little boy. He was the king and savior of all. So he received these special gifts. When it was time to leave, they remembered that King Herod was waiting for them. But God warned them in a dream not to return to him. So they went back to their country by another route. Many adventures awaited Jesus. Although this marks the end of the Christmas story, it was in fact just the beginning of a wonderful story of grace. Many years after this night, Jesus was going to show us how much he loves us. He came to the world to bring us love, joy, peace, and hope. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. The End Dear friends, all of you agree that Christmas magic is silent. You don't hear it. You feel it. Today, we have a variety of Christmas carols for all of you, which will fill the ambience with a true festive color. So get ready to dwell deep in the rhythm of music.
That was indeed a majestic performance. Now, surely we can say that Christmas is not a season, but it's a feeling. It's time for celebrations. And how can we miss the dance? Right? Now, you are going to witness an energetic performance by our little rock stars.
jingle bell rock, a jingle bell swing, and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, a jingle bell's chime in jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In the frosty air, what a bright time! It's the right time. Go gliding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. A jingle around the clock. The mix and a mingle in the jingling beat. That was a splendid performance. Our school had organized craft competition for the students of standard first to fourth on the occasion of Christmas. Here is the collage of a few participants. <laughs> 